I've had some people ask about um, what my intake looks like, so I've got some pictures of the intake for Dalto Hydro. So what we've got in this pond is a filter box. It's uh, it's 30 feet long, three feet wide, and three feet high, and it's suspended about six foot off the bottom. And believe it or not, this pond is actually about 10 foot deep. It's quite deep. Um, so somewhere in mid-air, in that wa mid-water, is, uh, is the filter chamber. Um, it's got lots of small holes and it. it's made out of uh, fiberglass um, uh, walkway material, which is totally uh, waterproof and uh, long-lasting. So this big box is made out of this uh, treadway into a big box shape and it goes over the end of the pipe. And it's 30 feet long from my feet out, three feet wide and three feet high, lifted off the bottom of the, of the, of the pond. The reason I chose this place to build the, build the pond is because it goes up quite steeply behind. You'd say you should go higher up the hill, but off in that direction is a fairly major part of the catchment area. So if I'd bothered taking the pipeline further up to get the extra head up there, uh, I'd have lost all the catchment area over here, so I decided to put the intake here, which only gave us 40 meters of head. And you can see there's quite a lot. It's midwinter now, and there's a fair bit of water going over the top of the dam. Um, the machine's been running at full power for the last six months or so, and all this water's going on top of the dam. But so we've installed a bit underneath the mean flow of the river. So there's always water kind of pouring over, but it means that our turbine's running quite hard all the time. We get a good utilization, plant utilization of the turbine. It just runs flat out all the time. And we haven't really harmed the river. There's still plenty of water in it. Um, and the other interesting thing is we used three pipelines. Underneath, through this dam to here, is three pieces of pipe. And the intake, the intake um, valves are underneath these lids, the three pipes go down the hill, and there's uh, the compensation flow, which tees off back in the river, and the three pipes go on down here. And the compensation flow uh, pipes uh, act as anti-vacuum. So if we do turn those main inlet pipes off, the air can go in those pipes, and on down, and you can drain your pipeline. So this is a pipeline going on down here, it's about 500 meters long. Let's see if I can. And there's a comms cable here. You see the comms communication cable. So I've got a pressure sensor in the dam, telling the machine how much water is in the lock to set the output. Uh, I think in a moment you should see. If yeah, we tried doing it without knocking any trees over, and one went and blew over, and all the trouble of trying to save trees, and one blew over. Uh, anyway, here's the three pipes. I couldn't quite get a machine here to bury them. I was worried about it freezing. So there's three pipes going down the hill. Uh, the reason they use three pipes is that's what I got hold of. They use around here, they use fish farms, uh, and they use these pipes to make great big uh, corrals for holding the fish for fish in. And after a few years, they get a bit ro ro ropey, so they scrap them. And I managed to buy this old fish farm, and I cut the pipe up into lengths, Weld it all back together again and laid it down this hill. And you can see it's getting quite steep now. And you can see the river over there raging on down as usual. Ooh. And oh, trying not to fall over as I walk down here. It's quite steep. The camera doesn't show you how steep it is. Anyway. This gives us a gross head of uh, 40 meters, and the three pipes send water to the turbine, about well, four bar, and uh, and we get 22 kilowatts. And in the last six months, it's done nearly 60,000 kilowatt hours. It hasn't really slowed down. You can hear the turbine, can you? 
don't know if this camera's going to pick up the noise. But you can very barely hear it out here over the natural background noise. At the bottom, you'll see the tail race. So there's the excess water coming on down the river. And there's what's coming out of the turbine. So there's still loads of water in the river. And it goes under the pipes and just bag on down out of my property. Uh, inside is our little turbine we've seen before. Uh, working away nicely. Twin jet. Few months. Well, I'm pretty pleased. It's uh, hopefully going to run for years and years and years. It only spins at 750 RPM. So the bearing should last a long time. Yeah. That's Dalto Farm. Cool.